Hello, this is Joe Pryor, the virtual real estate team in Oklahoma, and I'm gonna address a problem that has recently come up as of April 1st, and it's not April Fool's, this is for real. Fannie Mae, uh, which is if you're an owner of occupant or especially an investor, and this is who I'm addressing, uh, this is where you want your mortgage backed by because this is where you get 30 year deals that are the best interest rate, the best terms. Well, Fannie Mae has decided that they're going to limit not only investment property, but in combination with second homes to 7% of their portfolio. Now, what this is going to do is potentially eliminate half of the investment and second home properties purchased in the United States going forward. Now, I think it's crazy. I don't know what the rationale for it is. I don't think it's a good decision in any way, shape or form, but that's what it is and we have to deal with it. Now, it doesn't mean that we're going to be without mortgages, but it does mean that some mortgage companies are going to be in, as we say here, a heap of trouble finding enough mortgages for you. And some of them that can't are charging rates a point to a point and a half higher. Fortunately, we have three mortgage companies right now that we can do business with in Oklahoma City and Tulsa that will be able to give you those good interest rates and have devoted themselves to investment, especially with our group, because they know that we do volume. We know that they know that we bring good people to them. So we're not limited at this point, but it's going to be a problem. And there is a silver lining to this. You know, investing in real estate, especially after the pandemic uh, and the lockdowns, has become a little bit of a mania. I'm seeing too many people who probably shouldn't be in investment, in investment. And so it's going to limit those numbers. And any time we can limit the numbers of investment investments that are out there, the better it is for your rental because it's always an issue of supply and demand. So if you've got the gold, you can make the rules. And so fortunately we are in that situation, but going forward, we're going to see what's going to go on with this. I can't tell you it's going to change anytime soon. I can't give you a rationale for the policy because when I bring 800 credit score people to the table, mortgage companies love them. And these are the people that are going to be making their payments, but that is what it is. So if you're looking to invest in Oklahoma city or Tulsa, Understand that we have the good rates. We have mortgage companies that are gonna back you up and support you and give you the amount of loans that you need. I'm very fortunate in this particular respect. I'll keep monitoring this and possibly doing some more videos going forward to see how this policy is going to affect the overall real estate markets. But for now, we're good to go.